Hello, welcome to another video or audio. I am Turquoise. Happy Saturday. How are you all doing? Um, I uh, made a new friend, hopefully. I don't know how, how this is going or where this is going. But um, she brought up something uh, that I think is very pertinent. Hold on a second. something. Yeah. Um, I understand about pride. I understand about dignity. I understand about independence. I believe most of us want to have that sense, especially in the mental health system or if we're disabled or if we feel like our, our society is doting over us or controlling us. I get that totally. I really do. Um, I went through that I'll share my own experience. I went through that when I was raised by an aunt that by hot and cold and by turns, I believe, I'm just examining the dynamics of the family. Humans are complicated. My aunt was complicated. I was complicated. We all are. Families are. Dynamics. Um, I experienced, I'm sharing my own experience, I experienced her sometimes really getting micromanaging on me and fussing over me a lot and uh, many other times I felt like she was not emotionally available and um, it seemed like when I need when I did need her help she always told me I could ask her help if I needed it she always told me that um, she was there for me and uh, more often than not though when I would ask for her help and I didn't I didn't often ask for money she would offer it to me or, or give it to me and um, when I when I did really actually need it now now there were times when I really there were most of the time I did need it but I felt guilty about it because I felt like she was giving it to me with strings attached she was giving it to me with a lot of attitude a lot of guilt trips and um, it really made me feel bad like she was this benefactress and I was this ungrateful little beneficiary and more often than not that was not true I really did need the help and um, there were there was one time at least when I really did need some help and it was Thanksgiving and um, she uh, she told me that her CODA group her CODA sponsor told her um, not to help me anymore that she was helping me too much and looking back, I know that she had trouble uh, leaving me independent. And um, looking back, I, I realized that she she had given me money, she'd given me gifts, she'd given me herself, and um, didn't want to. And I know I know for a fact she did the same thing when she took care of me, because she did admit to me that. If my mother hadn't been her sister, she wouldn't have had anything to do with her. And my, my mama was disabled. My mom was legally blind. She couldn't drive. And my aunt did a lot of things for her. Probably did a lot of stuff. And she burned out. And um, that's really sad, you know. So uh, I digress just a little bit. But you might understand what I'm talking about. Um... People give of themselves a lot, and they resent it. My aunt did that. I'm not sure what happened to my friend's mom. I'm not sure what my friend's mother was going through. My friend's mother was going through, but my friend told me yesterday. My mama told me. My mother told me never to uh, accept help from people or let people pay pay their way. Let people pay their way. And um, I knew she was short. I knew she might have needed a ride home so she'd be home on time and um, I'm a little scared that she uh, missed curfew and uh, got forced to uh, stay outside all night. She didn't return my call when I checked up on her and I'm praying, I was praying all night when I was awake and even in my sleep that she was going to be okay. I also know that um, she doesn't call me, doesn't call me back, but 
I think she gave me permission to uh, call again. She's kind of all over the place, and I understand that too, because when you've got a, a mental illness or a neurodivergent or a brain thing, you might forget things or overlook things more than uh, mainstream. But back to my topic. Um, I had a fight with my roommate, Bruce, and my roommate can, can tell you this is true. Um, I was, I was uh, 18. No, I was 17. I was 17 years old. And we were driving home from LA. We were both really tired. We were both really hungry. And uh, the only food resource on the road at that time was a truck, a sandwich truck stop. You know, where, where a woman, you know, a woman or a man will often, usually it's a woman, they'll have uh, sandwiches for sale, whether it's on the road or whatever. It's like a truck, truck stop. And um, I didn't have the correct change. I had a 20. And um, she didn't have any change to give me. And uh, my roommate stepped in. We were living together. He was my roommate then. Stepped in and paid her. And I friggin' fl freaked out. I flipped out. I hit the roof. And uh, I had just left home. And my aunt was, uh, my aunt was still, uh, was still providing the money. She was still my legal guardian and she was still carrying my uh, disability, my SSI. And um, she would come over to my, come over to my house at my roommates, you know, and um, give me cash, you know, for the uh, SSI. And um, I was paying my way, living with him. And, um, I didn't have the correct change, though. And, um, that was one of the immediate questions, as a matter of fact. I asked my, my new, my brand new roommate, Bruce, uh, after I ran away from home and had to leave my aunt, um, who's going to pay my way over here living with you, you know? What is it going to be like? And, and he said, well, your aunt is going to still give you your money you know, come over and give you, give you your money to, you know, pay your way, and, you know, don't, don't worry about it, it'll, it'll be enough for you to live on, and I was just brand new out of living at home, and, um, I didn't know what the hell it was all about, I was just, I was really scared, I didn't know what was going to happen with Bruce and me, um, I didn't know, uh, how he was going to treat me, because we were living together, and I didn't know how that was going to go. I was really scared, really freaking out. And I had PTSD from living at home. See, PTSD from living with my aunt and being bullied at school. You know, that was why I ran away, because I got bullied at school, and my aunt was not able or willing to even try and do anything about it. I think she was trying, but she was doing the old school thing. No pun intended. School. <laughs> she, um was talking to the parents of the bullies, she was talking to the teachers, she was talking to the bullies even, and uh, the friends that I did have at school, if I had any, and um, nothing got done. You know, why did I waste time finishing that sentence? You get the idea, nothing got done. That was before anti-bullying policies, and um, that was like the year 1984. And, um, I, um, I was just brand new at all this stuff about, about living in the world. And I didn't know if my roommate was going to be paying all my way and everything. So, um, we're at this truck stop in Los Angeles, or on our way back from LA on the freeway, out on our way back to San Diego. And, um, I was really freaking out. I'm like, Bruce, why did you do that? I yelled at him. I'm like, man, why did you do that? Why did you pay my way? We, we have an understanding, you know, I, I, I paid, I paid out of my SSI money, you know, I, you don't pay my way. You're not my, you know, 
husband or whatever. You're not my husband. You're not my boyfriend. You're my friend. We, we pay our own way. And he, um, he's like, young Carol, it's all right. And he must have spent maybe 45 minutes driving us south, you know, towards San Diego and saying, John Carroll, eat that hamburger. It's getting cold. You need to eat. You have to eat. You haven't eaten for four hours. You're hungry. And I'm like, I'm like, why? Bruce, I can't. You know, it's... Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain what I was going through and uh, let me explain the psychology of it. I looked it up. You can consult with a licensed therapist if you want or a doctor. Um, you can look it up on the web if you're already here watching my video. Look it up on YouTube. Uh, search, um, search, uh, asking for help. Search getting help. Search when friends help. Search controlling friends. Search, um, guilt from our childhood at accepting help, accepting things from other people, accepting gifts, accepting compliments, whatever you want. It's all, all the same energy, you know, when someone gives us something or helps us out and we feel guilty about it or we feel like we got programmed, overly programmed even, in the name of ethics, you know, it's a good idea to be independent. It's a good idea to uh, pay our own way. It's a good idea to um, hold our own, bring our own, have our own. I get it, but no, no person is an island. If we're short a couple of dollars, or if we don't have the right change, or if we need a little help, and our friend or our, our person that we are dealing with is willing to help us, it's okay to have that. Now I get it if we don't trust the person, I get it if we've got trust problems, that's a whole other video, but um... We deal with that after the fact, you guys. Then we confront the person, I hope. It goes with us. We confront the person and we say, you don't give to get. You don't give so you can uh, rape me. Excuse me. You know, women. You know, women's issues. Um, you don't give to uh, guilt trip me and have a power thing over me about it. You give freely. And, um, my aunt, you know, I, I want you to understand about my aunt. I felt guilty all the time when I was dealing with her. And, uh, that was why I couldn't accept anything from anyone. So, um, there it is, and we had a fight all the way home from Los Angeles, because I could not accept any help from him, and I needed it. I needed the food, I needed the money, and, um, looking back, I wish I could travel back in time and tell that 17-year-old kid, Carol, listen, I'm from the future, I'm, I'm Jen Carol, I'm Turquoise from the future, and, um, it really is okay. You can you can trust him. You can pay him back when you get home. It's gonna be okay. You know. You can give him uh, the 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 right change. You can get change. Back in my day, I could go to the store and get change. Um, I can do that, and he's not gonna beat me over the head with it. But I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know that, and I was programmed very heavily with uh, my aunt saying, don't, don't accept any help. I remember when my uh, room, my then friend, you know, he wasn't my roommate yet, but I used to come home wearing his jacket because I would forget to take his jacket off. And my aunt would scold me after he dropped me off at home. He'd, she'd scold me for uh, wearing his king jacket. And even on nights when, um, I would take the jacket off and give it to him before going into the house at home. My aunt would, would practically interrogate me and ask me, Did you wear his jacket again? 
did he take you out to eat again, Jen Carroll? Did he do the? Did you thank him? He would say, she would say that in that tone of voice. I swear to God, God bless her. God bless you, Julie. Rest in peace. I love you. But my goodness, you had your fear and your anxiety all over the place, and it was ruining me. You didn't even know it. God bless you. Forgive him. Forgive her, Lord. She knows not what she's done. Forgive me. I know not what I do at this very moment. You know, maybe sounding like I'm, you know, but I'm calling it out. You know, fa family, uh, you know, parents. I, I don't want to bash you either, parents. Auntie, I don't want to bash any of you, but I want to bash the problem. I hate problems, not people. I don't hate parents. I hate I hate faulty parenting that is not held accountable. Um, don't make your children feel guilty. You can teach ethics. You can learn how to teach ethical behavior without guilt tripping your child, making them feel bad. And children, your parents aren't perfect. Children, if you feel like you're being abused, you feel like you're, you're feeling bad. And if you're growing into yourself, you're 17 or 18 or even my age, 57, you should be able to accept help from somebody sometimes without feeling bad. I felt really bad about my friend yesterday. I wanted to be able to provide transportation home for her, just at least just once. And I, I don't, I, I know that I can't pressure her. I have no right to pressure her to trust me. But I told her yesterday, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna hurt you, hurt you with uh, help. I'm not gonna use help to hurt you. I swear to God, I. I had that done to me, I know what it feels like. Oh, and I'm sad. I'm talking about this, you guys, because it can affect a friendship. I spent a week in my room. I was 17, you know, back to when I was 17. I spent a week in my room, uh, avoiding my roommate, because I, because he had yelled at me all the way home. Why can't you accept help, Jen Carroll? I confronted my aunt a week later, I wrote her an angry letter, and then she goes, Jen Carroll, why couldn't you accept help from, from your friend? And, I, and I, I looked her right in the face and I said, because you told me not to. I did not tell you not to. Yes, you did. You told me not to accept any help. You told me not to wear his jacket. You told me not to accept any money from him. You told me not to... accept compliments from him, anything. I could not accept anything from him. What does that make me? You know, part part of having a friend is to be able to let someone be a friend to you. And she's like, I don't understand what you're talking about, Jen Carroll. And I said, I'm sorry if you don't, Auntie. But there it is, and it's ruining our friendship. It's ruining my friendship with Bruce right now. I went back to Bruce that night. We, we were making up. We weren't fighting. And I'm like, she did this to me. She did this to me, Bruce. And I, I'm sorry. You know, it, it was her. Her problem. She's not even sorry about it. And he's like, Jen Carroll? I know. Work on it, all right? Work on it in therapy. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something. I'm not telling you to, to bow down and bend bend over and, uh, and take help all the time. I value independence. I don't like I don't like accepting benefits from the government, but I need them. I'm disabled. Every day people people ask the question. Maybe not directly to me, but... You don't have a job! You don't work for your money! Same thing, same dynamics. I want a world in the future where we don't have to feel guilty about accepting help. I want a world where we can trust each other. I want a world where we give where we don't give to get where it's just passed on and back and forth and around in a beautiful circle instead of, you know, 
counting all the time. I swear. Let's figure out a way not to feel screwed over. Figure out a way to uh, stand up for yourself. Set boundaries. We'll all get our needs met. It's all good. God bless you. I'm going to go now.